I'm happy now to be joined by ASG Secretary Dr. John Vargo talking about the massive educational portfolio here at DDW. So what are some of the hot topics? Well, Dina, thanks for uh, having me. Uh, the ASG is about everything endoscopy and some of the hot topics are endoscope reprocessing, seemingly a trivial uh, process, but really one that has far-reaching ramifications in order to optimize the safety of our patients. And as you know, it's gained a, a, and garnered a lot of uh, a news coverage, and we have a, a special clinical symposia on this uh, on Saturday to help our members optimize their endoscope reprocessing to minimize any issues with uh, complications with our patients. A lot of advancements, and that means a great time for people to learn. Great time uh, for people to learn. Uh, the ASGE has a fantastic hands-on pro uh, program where you can actually, Dina, just as you and I are right now, uh, stand side by side with a world expert and learn endoscopic techniques such as endoscopic submucosal resection um, or bariatric approaches uh, from an endoscopic standpoint uh, where you actually learn the technique with one of the world's experts. We have 71 topic fora clinical symposia and combined clinical symposia which really cover the gamut of uh, gastrointestinal endoscopy from uh, management of esophageal disorders, uh, endoscopic on oncology, and an another hot topic which just continues to gain momentum, the use of endoscopic ultrasound uh, uh, guidance uh, outside the GI tract to uh, treat pancreatic disorders such as cysts of the pancreas and pseudocysts. So amazing things really happening. Great stuff, great stuff. <laughs> and a lot of the new research is going to be presented at the presidential plenary this year. Yes. That's a don't miss. The presidential plenary, Dina, is, it's a don't miss. It really is the apex of the science. I'm very proud of the, the, the program uh, that's, that's been put together. Some of the highlights will include the use of a uh, through-the-scope ultrasound probe to determine which bleeding lesions need to be treated and which ones don't. Uh, before this, we were just using visual aspects, but it was sort of like the tip of the iceberg in the Titanic. How deep is that iceberg? And now we can, uh, you'll see some exciting data on the use of this ultrasound probe where we actually can interrogate what's going on underneath the lining of the gastrointestinal tract to t determine the risk of bleeding and to treat it appropriately. How rewarding to have these tools to be able to better treat your patients. Oh, it's great, it's great. Another uh, group of patients that uh, are, have a particularly difficult time are those with a delayed stomach emptying or gastroparesis. Uh, one of the other presentations will be a, a, a method to treat this condition endoscopically. Uh, up until now, we've used medications for this. They, they have a, a lot of side effects. Some of them are not very well tolerated. There are other technologies out there such as gastric pacing, which haven't quite reached fruition at this point. So this endoscopic uh, uh, technique called uh, endoscopic pyloromyotomy will be also presented at the presidential plenary session. So much going on, an important yes. time to be here at DDW for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Vargo, thank you so much. Thank you.